Welcome to Things I Wish I Learned at School, brought to you by White Rose Maths, especially for National Numeracy Day 2020. We firmly believe that we are all numbers people. Maths everyone can. In this short video, we're going to take a look at fractions of an amount. What is four fifths of 35 pounds? Now, when I was at school, I learned how to do this by following a process. You might be thinking of it now. Divide by the bottom times by the top. Ring any bells? Well, that's how I was taught, but at the time I didn't really understand what was going on. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a way that I wish I was taught at school. We are going to use a bar model to represent fractions of an amount. Here's a bar. This is always going to represent my whole amount. If I split it into three equal parts, this would represent thirds. Four equal parts would represent quarters. Five equal parts, fifths, and so on. The main point is that each part needs to be equal. Let's take a look at a question. What is one third of 150 pounds? Here's my whole. This must represent 150, and we want to find a third of it. So let's split our whole into three equal parts. This helps us see that to find the value of one part, we need to share 150 pounds between three. This gives us 50 pounds in each part. One third of 150 pounds is 50 pounds. Okay, so what if we changed our question slightly? Instead of finding one third, let's find two thirds. Our whole is going to stay exactly the same. This time, we just need two of the equal parts instead of one. So two thirds of 150 pounds is 100 pounds. Easy. What if we change the context slightly? What is one fifth of 100 grams? Here's my whole, but this time it's going to be worth 100 grams. And we're working in fifths this time. So let's split our bar into five equal parts. We just want one fifth. So we need to do 100 divided by our five equal parts to give us 20. One fifth of 100 grams is 20 grams. What else could we find out from this diagram? Let's change our question. What is three fifths of 100 grams? Well, this time we're not interested in one of the parts. We need three of the parts. Three fifths of 100 grams is 60 grams. We can see other things from this diagram as well. Finding two fifths would be really easy. We've got two parts left over, so two fifths must be 40 grams. Three fifths add two fifths gives us the whole amount and we must be right because 60 add 40 is 100. I'm sure you're feeling pretty confident by now, so why don't you have a go? What is three quarters of 36 miles? Have a go at drawing your own diagram and then working out the answer. Did yours look like this? I hope so. Well done if it did. Once you become confident using a bar model to represent fractions of an amount, you'll be able to tackle more complex problems like this. A quarter of a bag of flour weighs 125 grams. How much does the whole bag weigh? So this time we need to work out the whole amount, but we're given a fraction. We're told that a quarter weighs 125 grams. So let's split our bar into four equal parts. We know that one of those parts is 125 grams. We know all the parts are equal, so they all must be 125 grams. Our total is 500 grams. The flour weighs 500 grams. Simple. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of fractions of an amount. Why not have a go at some yourself? Good luck and have fun!